Oh Lord have mercy. Oh Lord have mercy on my soul. Hello everybody and welcome back to another flippity dippity doodah Gary's Mod video. Today we're playing a Gary's Mod map called City of Silence. The map will be in the description down below if you want to play it for yourself. And I really do recommend it. If you like the map, please go down there and leave a nice comment. Give it a like. Give it even a Steam Award even. And I recommend playing the map for yourself too, of course. So this is... Oh man, this is... This is actually making me really nostalgic. I don't know if, how many of you played, uh... Or watched me play, um, Bleak City. This was a map in Gary's Mod a while back. It's a map called Bleak City. And... I remember watching people play that map years ago, like 10 years ago. Just, I'm getting that vibe from this, you know, I'm getting Silent Hill vibes. I don't know, it just, it just, it brings that warm feeling of nostalgia, you know, when I look at this. But this actually had quite a long description for this map, so I thought I ought to read it. While we look off into the snow. Or is it ashes? Or is it snow? Or maybe it's both, who knows. The description says, rare snow, thick fog, and deep silence. It seems that there should have been a lot of people here. But from now on, they are not here. Now no one can destroy the silence, except, of course, the small silhouette of this fog. This map is inspired by Silent Hill, Silent Hill and Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. It's also an alternate version of GM Snow City, which actually, we've played that map before. I think I, I, think I included it in one of my three map videos, to be honest with you. This map is made by Fatalist. Yeah, dude, we've played this map before. This is an alternate version of this map, which is... I love this map, and it already looks really good in actual Gary's mod, but, uh... Yeah, we've played this map. Put, like, the the creepy, uh... Next spot thing that stalks you in when I played through this map. And I think I was memeing around and being, like... Pretending like I couldn't see it. And it just became more and more obvious where I couldn't ignore it. But, yeah, we've played that map before, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm thinking of something else, but... This map doesn't really feel the same. It feels very different. I don't know if it's just because of the fog or what. But when I played through that map, I remember it adding the fog because I can't remember. I think I added fog myself with the mod. And then I added the stalking next spot things. I don't know if I actually have a video up on the channel of it. I think I do, to be honest. I kind of want to look now. So yeah, we actually have played this map before. It's a video on its own if you guys want to watch that. I'm guessing not too many of you care about that though, but if you do want to check it out, it's there. I'm definitely going to have to rewatch that video because I don't really remember making it at all, so... You know. Definitely going to have to check it out again. There's a point where I was just uploading every day, and I kind of forget a lot of maps I played, but I do remember this one. I do remember Snow City. I remember that name, and I had a lot of fun playing through it. It was a silly little video. Let's hear... This doesn't feel the same at all. I kind of lost my train of thought because I heard a loud bang on top of my roof. So I was like, what was that? And I had to check it out. And I don't remember what I was saying now. But this doesn't feel the same. Nothing looks familiar. I remember the map being very, uh... I don't remember there even being water except for, like, the outer parts of it. So this is very edited compared to Snow City. It's an alternate version, it says. But this doesn't even feel the same at all, so... It looks good, though. I wonder how many buildings we can go into in this one. It looks like there's a few. I don't know how big this map is, though, so... There's, like... I don't even know where to start with this map. I don't know how big it's gonna be. But, yeah, I'm definitely getting Left 4 Dead vibes, Silent Hill vibes. I love it. Those are, like, my favorite games. I think I do recognize this building vaguely. Just this hallway. And, yeah, these stairs... Knocked over a painting. I don't even know where to start, like I said. Use bathrooms. No mere jump skill. Not getting jump scared by any Mio today. Wrench. I'm guessing you do need Left 4 Dead 2 to, in order to play this map, just because of the textures that it's using. Here's outside. So... Yeah, what is this building? I, I didn't really pay any attention. It feels like a hotel or something, but 
I do have to say this map is very... I don't know what that noise was. Improved. To, compared to Snow City, like, by a lot, so... No diss, it just really... Improved. There's a can down here, like, somebody's been... Somebody's been sipping a can under the stairs. They be sipping cans under the stairs. You know, here's... Yeah, this is, like, hotel rooms. And whatnot. A little bit of lag, and there's some blood in here, and... Pills here! I can actually pick them up. Interesting, there's blood in here. What do you guys think happened in here? This bad to appear with water. Check this out. I, I feel like a lot of you guys come into these videos to like watch before you go to bed or something, and I'm just being very loud and obnoxious right now. Let's go through these through numbers. We've got room two. Now we're going to room three. It's like somebody was in a hurry to pack. But of course, their clothes are scattered all over the place. We got a suitcase there. I feel like something scary is going to happen in one of these rooms. They're like bunk beds, too. This would be a interesting apartment to stay at, I must say. And I've always said this when I've played Left 4 Dead 2 maps on the channel. They always do give some kind of Silent Hill vibe, and that's one of the reasons I love Left 4 Dead. It's just because of that vibe. Especially the first Left 4 Dead. It really gives like a... Yeah, it's just a hotel word. It really does just give like a strong Silent Hill vibe, especially the first one. The first one's actually very scary. There's like the kitchen, the refrigerator is open. Somebody ought to close that. I like that there's a little light connected to it. Somebody better wash these dishes in here. It ain't gonna be me. And up here, this feels very empty. Ooh, this is scary. That looks like a silhouette of a person. If I wasn't already kind of freaked out, that would have scared me. This is like an unfinished part of the apartment. This is spooky, dude. Hotel, I should say, not apartment. <laughs> My name is Rev Richardson Heron. He is with you until the end. Leave now, they keep coming, no way to get back. God is dead. We have. Get off. Get away. Oh my god, stop! Get out of here! We have sown the seeds of sin. This is our punishment. God is dead. What is this, actually? I want to look up what this quote is. Exodus 9.15 By now I have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with such pestilence that you would, you would have vanished from the earth. That's what it says. That's what I just read, at least. I think that's what it is. That's a pretty metal quote, I have to say. I thought that actually tricked me that time. I like how it didn't trick me when I first came up, but going in, that looked like a silhouette of a person, which did kind of freak me out the second time. Huh. Interesting. Oh, we're on the roof. Roof. Oh my goodness, oh my damn, oh my goodness. I'm throwing ham. There's a lot to this map, I can already tell. I, this doesn't feel like an alternate version though. Let's, let's be Spider-Man. Jump over. I feel like maybe that was a mistake. I don't really know what's gonna be up on this building. There might not even be a way in. I might have just messed up. Oh, that's spooky though. 
So they expected me to come up here. But now how do I get down? I gotta like parkour my way down or something. Actually this isn't too difficult. There. We did it without taking any fall damage. So that's a building we can't even go into. But I did see that. I wanna check out. Well, let's head back down this way I guess. Oh there's so much to this map. Y'all I might miss stuff. So I recommend playing this map for yourself. Because I really think that this map needs to be looked at. Orange box juice. Now with 94% orange juice. Nice. That's a reference to the orange box. By the way. Door is not openable. Would have been spooky if there's like something on the other side here. The orange box was, by the way, like a thing that you could buy that had multiple games in it, like Left 4 Dead, and actually it didn't have Left 4 Dead, it had Portal, Half Life 2, and all the episodes, and Team Fortress 2. And, uh, fun fact, that was actually out on the Xbox 360, and I played it. So you could play all those games on the Xbox 360. Yes, you could play. Team Fortress 2 on the Xbox 360. Well, here's a little library. Downtown books. Alright. Sorry. I just love breaking those. They're very fun to break. Get out of my way. Don't talk to me. Okay. There's not too much to here. I say as I destroy everything. It's very spooky though. There's a lot of alleyways and I'm probably going to miss something. Here. Is this door openable? There's a little alleyway here. We're just gonna kinda go wherever I just see something interesting. Burger tank, that's what I'm talking about. What type of food do they even actually have at Burger Tank? Let's have a look. I never was able to really look. I say Okay, I actually got jump scared by this thing, I'm not even gonna lie. So what I saw when I first came in was just this, and that, and it scared me. Um, we're gonna look at the menu in a second here, but I just, I wanna check inside here. I got jump scared by a paper towel dispenser. So obviously they got burgers, right? And they got chicken nuggets, they got onion rings, they got chili. Look at these prices. Barbecue rib, chicken deli, grilled chicken burgers, barbecue bacon burger, full drinks, orange juice, lemonade, nice tea, coffee, hot cider, hot cocoa. You can have hot cocoa here, really? With your burger? That's kind of cool. Interesting. Okay. This would be a cool little local place to go to. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is literally just a Left 4 Dead 2 asset put into the game, but I never got to really look around. It feels very different, though. This is my Silent Hill. I can't climb that. Me. In uh, Half Life 2, you can climb some of those. This is super cool, though. The art of this map and just the placement of everything is very beautiful and unique. Did I just hear something? Oh, it's just me bumping into the car. Okay. 
if I found the free here was going on. This is so cool. Like everywhere I look, this map is just really artistic looking. I think there's more down this way that I wanted to check out. I got this police car. This is giving me cry of fear vibes right here. Wait. Interesting. It's not openable. Is there stuff back here we can go to? No. This is outside of the map. We did find one of the corners at least. Can we? Yeah, we can get back out because they got this. I just want to see if that was breakable, okay? And this is definitely a corner of the map here as well. Alright, let's just keep heading down this way then, I guess. I usually like to explore maps by the corners, usually. But Oh yeah, I want to see this place. Is this uh No, we can't go into there. I guess we can go two different ways. I like to explore the corners of maps. But my instincts are telling me to go this way. So, we're going to go this way. But yeah, I always like to explore the freaking corners of maps because uh it makes ex exploration a little bit more easy and I don't go to the same place twice. What do you have to say though? This is very beautiful. I feel like there's gonna be a dead end somewhere around here. Just so empty feeling. And that's not even necessarily a bad thing, it's just empty. There's some kind of fire here. Got a little warehouse here. I thought this map was gonna be very, very short by the way when I loaded it up. I don't even mean that as an insult, but a lot of maps that are kind of designed like this are always kind of shorter. Well, I'm glad we can open that. And I don't mean that as an insult. So, is this another corner of the map here, then? Did we already find all corners? Okay. So I kind of got a idea of the size of this place. So... Keep on heading around the corners here and then start to explore the inner parts a little bit more. But I'm curious about this. I have to go down here. I think we already were down here. Yeah. We're getting deja vu. Not really. But I thought maybe at one point we came down this way. I don't know. But yeah, just by the pictures, I thought this map was going to be really small. So I was going to make this like a three map thing, but this is obviously very big. And I like it. That's a... Big place. You can go into there, I think. Something spooky is going to happen to me any moment now. This is good. That's locked, okay. Pretty sure that door goes outside though, but it's locked. Yeah. The echoing of that is very creepy. Fortunately, we cannot play the piano. What's this thing? Oh, this feels like something, dude. Is there a puzzle? Oh, come on, don't don't have no puzzle now. I can never find it, and I always end up feeling terrible when I can't find something. But we are going to bring this with. Because this is, uh, quite fascinating. Yeah, this definitely feels like something. I don't know what, though. There's some water here. Does this go to a whole different section of the city? It does. This map is actually very big. I'd just be walking. I'm just, I'm curious on where this goes. I feel like I should leave it somewhere. Sorry. 
Okay, you know what I'm... Also, we copyrighted music. We're not gonna stay in here too long, so... I think I ought to leave this thing around here. I'm gonna leave it on these tires. Remember that's there, y'all. I'm gonna forget it. Guarantee you I'm gonna forget where that thing is. This feels like something else as well, but it's just... I'm gonna leave that by this as well, just because it feels like something, but I don't think it is. It might just be nothing, but I'm gonna leave it there anyways. So, yeah. We're just gonna keep heading down this way, I guess. I freaking dropped my phone. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, check this little park out. Check it out. Check it out now, y'all. Can we get in there? I would like to get in there. I want to go on the swing. Come on. Why are you closed to the public? Tell me why. Why are you closed? Let's check it out here. <laughs> hey, yeah. Look at him go, look at him go. I like that that actually does move. This feels like something. Nothing. I'm gonna try to remember that giraffe is here. I'm just gonna try. Dude, I just got a flipping message and it jump scared me. Anyways, um, this feels like it has something. I don't know what. But it just it feels like there's more to this place, perhaps, that I'm not quite seeing with my own eyes. I cannot tell you what, but it's something. Perhaps it's something important that I cannot see because my eyes aren't open wide enough. Hell yeah! That's fun. Does this light on fire too? I feel like I did something doing that. Why did it make that sound effect? Listen to this. I don't record. I I don't remember them making that noise after being lit on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's fun though. Ooh, we're more like heater. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna light this thing on fire too. Get out of here. Hell yeah, dude. That's so satisfying. Does this light on fire too? Yeah! We're lighting everything on fire, man. Does this light on fire too? It's probably good that I actually can't pick that up, to be honest with you. I would have definitely blown myself up. <laughs> But yeah, this map feels like it definitely has something more to it. I just, I can't tell. I couldn't tell you what. Garage sale. There's gotta be something down here. I'm just looking out for Easter eggs now. And if I can't figure it out, I expect y'all to figure something out. Because... Yeah. A window. This is a fancy little garage sale. Oh, that looks fun. That looks fun. I gotta pick... I gotta throw something at that. I'm gonna throw a bottle at the bottles. I can't. That's fun. There's nothing really down here then, I guess, huh? Feel like there would be. Something. I just don't know what.
It'd be creepy if you, like, saw something at the end of one of these alleys on the way back. Let me take this puppy. We actually can, but I kind of don't want to. Thing down here. It's cool that we can actually take that, by the way. If you compare these maps, the, the, the old version of this map, and this one, it's crazy how different this one is compared to the other. Because this one just feels so detailed and there's just so much to it. The other map felt very detailed too, but this one is like... On a whole new level. Yeah. Yeah. I want to check out this area, but I'm not really finding a way into there. Maybe we can jump up here. Jump that fence. I did it. I jumped the fence. No. Where do you all think this leads to? Oh, there's actually little things here. Oh, don't play that creepy music. I'm already creeped out of already a bunch being in this place. There's still power on. Fascinating. generators here. Hopefully this doesn't damage me like they decide to do in other Gary's Mod maps. I, I tried to crouch jump onto the roof but I am not cool enough. This is climbable here. To be honest, I can't even remember where the border is. I'm just, I'm just kind of exploring. No, anything in here? I'm just looking around for Easter eggs now and trying to figure something out. You know. Bogus is coming. Bogus. I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure that means fog is coming, but. They didn't put a space in between fog and is. So apparently the f focus is coming. I was wondering if maybe there's a button to open this finch up here, but... Huh. Hold up. Oh, I can climb it. That's cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting that in this map, to be honest. A climbable fence. Looping epic. Uh, this is... We've been here. This is where a little tool thing is. And then we headed down this way, I'm pretty sure. I sneeze, I apologize. I, I paused because I didn't want to jump scare you guys with a sneeze. I'm pretty sure we were heading down this way. Sorry, I'm kind of crouch jumping through here. Like a little bunny. And this is when I decided I want to get up in here. Yeah, I sneezed again. But yeah, this is where I decided I want to get up in there, so. Okay, I do recognize this little area here. If I go into this water, I feel like I'll just die instantly. Because I don't see no lattice. 
realistically, I would not go in there. Not uh. So this feels like the building we were in before, like the hotelish area. Hotel. Hell. Yeah, we were. We were in here. Yo mama. I feel like we've actually explored quite a bit of this map now. We just gotta kinda go into the deeper parts of it now. Cause remember we came down from here, we jumped on there, jumped on there, and then we went that way. Now we're going this way towards the pony. Check him out! Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Hold up now. Oh man, this is a lot to read. I'm not reading all that, man. You guys want to read through this, you can. I kind of want to read through it, but I also kind of don't want to. I feel like I should. You know what? I'm going to let you guys read it if you want. I'm going to go through it really slowly. So if you want to pause, you can. Let me get my camera out. If you want to pause here, you can. If you want to pause here, you can if you want to read it. And this one doesn't have anything written on it, unless it's on the back. Let me see. I don't think there's anything written on that, so... Yeah. I don't want to fix the camera here. This is how I take thumbnail pictures. Alright. That's good enough. Let's check it out around here in this little park here. If you guys want to read through that, you can. People complain when I read things for too long, so... Plus, I... I'm bad at reading out loud. And I... Look silly. Because I cannot read out loud. Check this guy out, you know? You know? This guy's chill. Okay, so I just tried interacting with it. I didn't really do nothing, so... I'd say he's fine, then. That's a fine horse. Let's go in here. I'm sorry. Okay, so the elevators are not working, but the power is on. Okay, jump scared by a graphical glitch. Were we in here? Why is that door open? I feel like we've been in here. Let's go up here. here. Oh, this is... Do all these open, or just some of them? Some of them open, some of them don't. Somebody's drinking on the job. Something weird's gonna happen when I open one of these, guarantee. Nothing. Interesting. What if we close them all? Because I am a kind person. I don't like that. I don't like the demonic screams. Before I'm about to ent enter a bathroom. Did you guys explore a city like this that's just completely abandoned? You'd have to imagine that there's probably a lot of homeless here. They're hiding. Because they know I'm around. 
And they can strike you any moment. I love myself some water. I turned the volume up because I was really unable to hear things and I thought I heard someone typing and I was like, what if I, I was about to say, what if I saw someone at one of these computers typing? And I thought I heard somebody typing, so I was kind of freaked out. Prophecy is true. This is fascinating. This feels like a lot... This feels like some weird server room, but like... I don't know. How would they have this here? I'm assuming it's some kind of server room, but... Like I said, it's, it just feels weird. Right, go up on a Tuesday. I really don't like that these doors are already open, because I know for a fact I haven't been in here. Right? Oh, hell. Where are you, Windows? Alright, I'm actually kind of freaked out. I kind of don't want to go up there, but... We gotta... The sound effects of this place is so freaky. Everything about this is, like, perfectly set up as, like, there's someone else here. You can tell that whoever was sitting here did not care about this meeting at all. He's just looking outside the window, sipping his coffee. Alright. Also, I just looked at Steam and to see if there's anything else. And there is, like, a secret, but I don't really know how to activate it. I didn't look at any of the comments or anything. I kind of want to figure it out on my own. Don't cry that he... That the old world has fallen. Cry that, that a new world has come. That sounds really creepy. Like, it could be really... Cheerful, but... It almost doesn't sound very cheerful. Can't jump up here. That was weird. It was like pushing me back. There's a radio up here. Nothing. All right. Well, that was spooky. I don't feel like I want to go back through the building now. I feel like something weird is about to happen now. Oh, this is making me uncomfortable. Something flipping weird is about to happen, isn't it? Let's just get to the bottom floor. And get out of here. Let's check out this pawn shop. It definitely put me on edge, whatever that was. I know that was like music from the... I can't remember, did I come through here and just leave doors open? I feel like I would have done that. No, I, I wasn't here, remember I threw that? I feel like we've explored every little area then. That I can think of. Should we go in the water? For funsies?
Oh, this is kind of spooky. I'm just walking at the bottom here. There's just a car down here. This is really cool detail, by the way, map crater. I really don't like that the fact that I'm underwater right now and I can't see anything. That already makes me nervous, but when I hear that noise while I'm in the water, that makes me nervous. This goes on for a while, don't it? This keeps going forever. I don't want to get out of the water really fast right now, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel a little bit freaked out being in here. Let's get out. This is where I got in, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we've explored everywhere that I can think of. I'm gonna no clip around now. Because I feel like we've explored mostly everywhere. I really gotta say I love this map. It's very spooky. I loved it. Um, great map, honestly. This is very impressive. Did that? Did that? Is this the same person who made the other map? Because this is like this feels very different in contrast to uh, old town map, whatever it was called. Like, they just feel very different, but, um, I feel like there might be some kind of secret to this map, so if you guys want to try this map out for yourself, please do, because I feel like I'm missing something here. Especially with that cone thing, like, I feel like there's something to that that I'm missing. But this is so good, dude. I love this map. It's been a while since i played a map for especially this long. I've just been very busy, so I haven't had the chance to, but I'm glad that we checked this out together. It's always fun to break these this glass. That's so fun. It's so fun. You can put that in one of the satisfying videos that you, that they got on YouTube. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm breaking stuff quite a bit. But anyways, yeah, I feel like there's more to this map that I'm missing. I apologize. Let me know if there is something I missed, because I feel like there's got to be something with that cone, but I just couldn't figure it out. And, um, yeah, I'd like to see if you guys can figure something out that I couldn't. Because look at this thing, man. This, this, isn't, this isn't like a normal prop. What if we just bring it around? We didn't go up here. Let's check out up here. Before we end this off here. I also feel like I might have missed some spots because this map was pretty big. So if you all want to... No idea what I've just done, but uh... I kind of want to find the top of that building and bring this cone to it. Wherever that was. I can't remember where it was. Oh, oops. I'm pretty sure I just dropped it down here or something. I don't know where it went. I have no idea. But yeah, let's just kind of bring this cone around a little bit while I no clip around. I suppose. The ambience is very creepy, and I love that this map feels like there's so much more to this. Yeah, I got no idea, dude. I ain't know nothing. Guess. In here. Um, 
I'm probably not gonna figure out where this belongs to be real with y'all, but I'm oh, sorry, I was gonna like end the video, but now I'm just kinda like seeing if maybe I can figure something out. Or maybe help people figure it out, because I feel like maybe not too many people know about this. Oh. That felt... I don't know, y'all. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm actually gonna end this one here now. Um, I dropped my phone again. Um, burger tank, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm actually gonna end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun during this map. It very, it actually did creep me out. Like I felt like something really, really weird was gonna happen and creepy, but nothing did. I was just on edge the whole time, you know. So yeah. But yeah, if you guys can figure anything out, please let me know. Or if you already know something, let me know. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna end this one here. I love. I I'm kind of glad that I'm back to playing maps again. You know. I've been kind of busy, so I've just been uploading once a week still, so, yeah. I'm, I'm just glad I have a little bit more time now to play a little bit more maps with y'all. Sorry, my last few videos have been very short. I do quite apologize. But I feel like there's some deep lore to this map, so if you want to check it out, please do. I'm going to actually end this one off here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support you guys have given me. And I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Be safe and goodbye.